I love writing scripts with two components, strong black male leads and comeback stories. And this next character was played by Kirk Charles. Kirk Charles played Mr. Smith, who was an ex-drug dealer turned drug counselor, looking out for all of the young people in the community. Please help me to welcome Kirk Charles to LVP TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. We are super excited to be interviewing you. Obviously, your character, Mr. Smith, he appeared in all three installments of the trilogy. And we're super excited to get a chance to talk to you about your experience. So what attracted you to the role of Mr. Smith, who was an ex-drug dealer, ex-hustler, reform type guy? Had you ever played that kind of role? Uh, this is my first movie, to be honest. And I've done a lot of commercials, a lot of other things. But this is my first movie where I get to play, and especially playing that type of role. And I'm helping people. But uh, yeah, I get to play a guy that's uh, made some mistakes in his life, and I've made some mistakes in my life. You overcome those yeah, mistakes, absolutely. overcome those tragedies, and you're able to pass on knowledge to some younger folks who may need the help. So that appealed to me. So what attracted you to the project? Because um, like you said, it was your first, like you had to, it, just like we as a production company had to trust the actors, the actors had to trust us. And you had already been out there. So what made you look at the project and think, you know, this is something that I might be interested in? I wanted to be a part of something special. And I thought this is a good story. So, you know, you always want to be a part of something bigger than yourself at some point in your life. So this is a group project. Everyone on the cast was fun. And I just had a great time doing it, waiting for the prequel. Pressure, pressure, pressure. pressure. Uh, no, the life is all about <laughs> pressure. You got to rise to the occasion. Absolutely. Were you surprised, and remember the audience doesn't know this, but were you surprised to read about the twist that occurred in Mr. Smith's life and how that rolled out in the script? Yeah, pleasantly <laughs> surprised. And that could be the basis for the prequel or the sequel. This haven't been your first role really of any kind. What did you use to draw for um, the role of Mr. Smith? Because he had a complicated past. You know, he wasn't clean cut. He had a complicated past. Where did you draw from that experience having not ever played this type of role before? The experience I drew from was my own family. Right. My family, we have a lot of alcoholism, drug addiction, you know, I have a couple of uncles and aunts who are older than me right. who were going through AA, NA, overcame it, and started to live, live uh, productive lives. Without giving too much away, what was your character's favorite scene in that movie? By far the best scene was when I was in the park. Well, I can't give it away, but I'll try. I'll try to think. <laughs> I was in the park with Sharon, and we were talking and just having a little discussion, but underlying it, you knew that there was some type of a romance there. There was another scene also where um, I'm with Marcus and we're standing in the hallway and then a lady walks by and he gets distracted looking at, you know, the young lady. I'm like, typical. You're, you know, right. typical. you're, here, you're here for a reason, but this is where you want to divert to. Right. You know, so that was a good scene also. So what's next for Kirk Charles? What have you been working on since we wrapped last summer? What are you doing now? What are, what we, we, where can we see you? What are you doing? I've done mm, a lot of commercials since that time, maybe four or five. Your I, most infamous for me is, um, don't tell me, Tostetto? Ostetto. 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 <laughs> but also I did one for The Motley Fool that's been playing a lot. It's on CNBC. So that's really? been playing a lot. Yeah, if you turn on the CNBC, you'll see that. And what's the name of it? The Motley Fool. The it's Motley Fool. financial advice. Oh, okay. Yeah. So people are seeing that now. I did another one for Better Help that people see. I only had a small role in that, but I was the father of a young lady who needed some help. Okay. Uh, so still doing commercials and projects like that, but I uh, shot a short movie last week. We're going to do another scene next week. I wanted to shoot this weekend. I'm playing a counselor in that. There you go. Yeah, Just make that. sure you don't get typecast. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> But, but for now, I'll accept it. Exactly, yeah, I'll accept it. exactly. But looking to do as many shorts as possible and uh, one day move on to the big screen and uh, TV and just experiencing, having fun, and God has blessed me because I'm living the life I want to live right now. I'm uh, doing what I want to do, so thank God. And there's no better way to end that. Well, thank you so much, Kurt, for not only entrusting us with your career 
<laughs> um, but being a part of this project, your character, Mr. Smith, was a centerpiece in, in this trilogy and you showed up for us and we so appreciate it. And I'm going to work and do my damnedest to make sure that we all see some kind of success from this project. And I thank you and appreciate you for being a part of it. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity and I'm sure great things will happen. From your lips to God's ears. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>